it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. What's up, everyone? Welcome back from a long weekend. Today's February 20th. Well, the uh, market did not welcome me back with open arms this morning, like I thought it would. I mean, you would think after a long, hard, grueling holiday weekend that SPX would, uh, you know, welcome us back with open arms. But that didn't happen. I got stopped out of my uh, JSP, stopped out of my 1DTE, stopped out of my O2 call calendar, stopped out of my AM ratio. Uh, I still have my NDX trade on. And with this little bounce, it might be coming back into range. It did. Uh, there was no 15 strikes. So it ended up taking the uh, five wide on the put side, which actually ended up helping with this down move. So I got lucky on that. But it's got to get above 25 to get back into range on NDX. On my, uh, let's see, on my re-entries, they haven't done too bad. Well, I got stopped out of one. Let me see here. So on my re-entries, yeah, I got stopped out of the first one uh, and then stopped out for a profit, stopped out for a profit, stopped out for a profit, and then I'm in one that's up 27%, and I'm in another one that just entered. So my, my plan for power hour today is, A, I just entered the Wooga, which is right here. I got in on the 75 calls, 70 puts. And then one of my re-entries just fired. So I am not going to do a tranche one for power hour. I want to double up at this price level, we are in a normal day. So I, I use that as kind of, I've been doing that kind of discretionary. I may, I may look at a tranche two and tranche three. Um, real quick. I know we got some new folks in the house. So just want to give you a quick, do a quick little housekeeping comments. Uh, number one, if you go, if you look at my screen, I, I brought discord over. If you go to the zero DTE course channel, and scroll up a little bit, there is a new member zero DTE checklist. So make sure you check that out. Uh, it lists kind of the step-by-step -step kind of what you should do to get started. Um, part of that is um, in the trade plans channel. This is where every month when I update my trade plan to, to share exactly how, how I will be trading, uh, I post that here. And you'll see some other uh, members trade plans in here as well. Uh, you can see here's my February plan. And here in the next week and a half or so, I'll be putting out my plan for March. So I trade things a certain way. Uh, Chad, who's on here as well. Chad, you on here? Yep. Afternoon. So Chad, he uh, you can check out his trade plan in the trade plans channel as well. So he's doing things a little bit more discretionary based on price action, where a lot of my my uh, trades are based on are more back test driven. So it's a lot of information. So if you're overwhelmed, that's normal. Just start clicking away on uh, some of the goods. There's a lot of gold in here. So welcome everyone who's new. Chad, how's the TLCs doing today? Yeah, so 
Got some, had several put on today. My AM number one is completely closed out for 1990 profit. My AM number two got stopped before I it was on that first big down move. So that was a, a full loss, minus three, uh, 3,320. My AM number three did a 20, 40, 60 and out. And uh, 1980 winner. My lunchtime number one I'm out of. That's a scratch trade. I hit it 20% and then it got stopped. So it was minus 75 bucks. Currently, lunchtime number two. You're kind of cutting so, out, Chad. Your audio just went out. Yeah, can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? All right. Well, Chad's Chad's taking care of his audio. Let's see what else we got going here. I've got some short premium in. These are non-zero DTE related, but I've got some short premium in natural gas. I've got some short premium in corn. I uh, put on a new duck in rut today. Uh, VXX vertical is slightly in the red, not too far off from where we put it on. And then let's see what else we got here. We got some short premium in MES. That one's up a little bit. Another MES. That one's profitable after adjustments. Took off a new uh, time fly today for over 10%. Put on a new time fly. In the March 8 cycle. Pretty close to where we put it on. Got a couple of ducks in SPX. One of which is in the February 26 cycle. Well up the beak. One of which is in the March 5 cycle. A little ways up the beak. My two re-entries that I have on this one's up about 32%. And then I've got a 3-2 that I just entered. And that's just up a little bit. All right, there you go, Chad. All right, can you hear, can you hear me now? Yep. Okay, so I'm not sure where I cut off, but I'm in my first power hour trade. So I just posted that recently here. So, so overall, I can stay green here if I can book some power hour. Hey, Alex, if you go to the uh, strangle course, it's in the option selling category. Go to the strangle course and then, um, I mean, you want to go through the whole thing, but um, the updated lesson is lesson 11. It's called short strangle variations. And that's uh, more in line with the way that I'm trading them at this point. And that's not, um, that's that relates to whether you're selling premium in commodities or stocks or indices or whatever. So Wuga took us down last Friday, so hopefully he can uh, bring us home today. I don't know if Wuga's here with us today. Is 
So we got S&P's down 28, NASDAQ down 175, Russell the weakest down 30, Dow down 30. Dow's basically unchanged. Gold a little bit higher, silver lower, notes and bonds higher, 10-year yield about half percent lower, oil and natty gas down a half percent. Grains are green, wheat up almost 4%. Euro and the pound green, Bitcoin slightly green, BIX 15.33 currently. BIX got up to almost 16 earlier. Currently trading, getting close to lows of day. I guess we opened a little bit lower. Also, uh, if you're new, so this month I've been doing a lot of different testing and, and doing some different discretionary trading, which you'll see in my February trade plan. But if you click on the January tab at the bottom of the sheet for my trade plan, you'll see a lot more strategies that I was doing prior and, and some of which that I'll be bringing back in March. But this was kind of a little bit of a different month of trading for me while I was just trying to figure a few things out. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to be when I grow up. So my re-entries are in good shape. My Wuga is in good shape. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we wouldn't get any more push up there. It's, it's pushed up far enough. Oh, I did. Uh, I did uh, make a nice little profit as we came down to the expected move. I sold a sold a bunch of puts and caught that move up and got out pretty much painted the bottom and the top. So that helped. That actually made me green for the day um i sold the 49.75 puts uh bought the 4900 so vertical got in for 11.95 scaled out at 810 and 710 so that was uh that was good did some futures trading today. I caught the same move in ES. And then um, caught that move in ES. And then I, when it pulled back, I tried to get long again, thinking we were going to continue higher, got stopped out on that. So basically gave it back. And then caught a little winner in oil and a loser in corn. So futures down about four. 85 ish on the day. Just got filled on something. It's like I got out of half of something here. It's like power hour number one, filled on half at 20%. No, that was, I'm sorry, I take that back. It's my lunchtime number two that got filled. Lunchtime number two. By the way, I spent, uh, I've been, I've been working on this kind of end of day strategy. And I spent, oh my God, I probably spent, 12, maybe 15 hours testing and trading it on uh, Thinkorswim On Demand. Boy, talk about <laughs> grueling. <laughs> you, guys, you guys don't like paper trading. Talk about trading on On Demand. That's even worse. But anyway, um, I'm going to 
so for the last 20 minutes today, I'm trying to work some things out. So for the last 20 minutes, Chad's going to take over and share his screen so I can I can focus in a live market here and then I'll jump back on towards the end. we go just filled again filled on uh 20 percent of my power hour number one My Wooga is up about 9%. My two re-entries are up 33 and 20%. Yeah, discount. I'll, I'll be sharing it. I just, I want to, <clears throat> I want to, but there's a lot to it. So I want to, I want to share it with an example, but yeah, I'll, I'll be sharing it uh, very soon. Maybe at the end, if it sets up, maybe even at the end of today here. I did put on a one, two DTE double calendar today. That's pretty much pretty close to where I put it on. Six, seven is down a few percent. I took off, I was up about 10% on a, uh, which one was it? My four, six, I was having platform issues. Tradehawk did a big update. And um, by the time I got everything together, it reversed. And so I ended up taking a loss on that one. Took a uh, win on the 4.5, a loss on the 4.6. And then, yeah, I still have the 1.2 from today and the 6.7. I did. I, yeah, I traded the O2 call calendar this morning. It got closed out for a, about a 3% loss. Just need price to kind of hold right there. You're still holding Cosmo. You should be uh, sitting pretty, right?
Nice. Yeah, bullish. Um, yeah, on on normal days like today, so when it's not down over half percent or up over half percent from the open, I call that an, a normal day. So in February, if you check out my trade plan for February, you'll see I, I'm either not trading it or I'm trading it on a discretionary basis. So not trading it today. I had a couple orders from my re-entry strategy and then this uh, 10 wide no stop version come in right at the same time. So I didn't want to load up on the same price level. So I'm not trading my typical power hour today, but yeah, you can, you can see it in the trade trade plan exactly how I trade it. There, there she goes. Looks like she's wanting to push up again. Let's see if it gets rejected or not. God forbid we have a red day. Just closed part of my re-entry. SPX has just been kind of grinding higher ever since it bounced yep. off the lows of 49.55. Wouldn't mind it coming back down to about 49.65. My NDX coming back into play. Discount, I know you posted your NDX trade. What are you, uh, are you back in range yet? I think you had maybe a little bit higher strikes than mine, if I remember right. Forty. Okay, yeah. So you need another, you need another twenty on the NDX. So this is the time that I would start normally entering my power hour tranche number two. And I'd be looking at probably the 80 calls, 75 puts. And I'm just <clears throat> rolling with pot one power hour for now because I still have a my lunchtime iron condor number two on. So I have two current positions on. So I'm, that's enough for me right now.
So news for the week. So tomorrow we get the pleasure of some Fed speakers. Oh, One is before market. One's at noon. And then we got the meeting minutes coming out at 1 p.m. Central, which usually is not a big deal. Sometimes it is if they sneak something in there. Thursday, pre-market unemployment claims, flash manufacturing PMI, flash services PMI. And nothing on Friday. There you go, Leachy. Leachy 101. Wuga is the name of one of our members. I think he's here today. But he, he started trading this, so we just call it the Wuga. SPX 5,000. Um, I'll take the under. <laughs> I, uh, I think I've been kind of thinking we're going to have an update tomorrow too, actually. Yeah, I don't like that bet. I know you're you're being generous. I I hear you. But I don't know. I, you can't keep a good SPX down. I mean, we've had two down days in a row. We're got a little end of day bounce going. Feels like a a rally tomorrow. Big thing to look for tomorrow will be NVIDIA earnings. Oh, is that tomorrow? Yeah, after the bell tomorrow. So yes. I'm sure that will have an effect on the market after, you know, after tomorrow. Yeah, sure will. 221 after market. A little 153% implied volatility in those front week options in NVIDIA. Yeah, I know. I saw that today. Expected move between now and the end of Friday is about 78. I bet it moved more than that. I don't know which direction, but I bet it moves more than that. Big K, quit trying to take all my money. I'm scared to bet you. Is that what you want to hear? I'm scared to bet you. <laughs> my wife won't let me.
Yeah, I'll take a. I mean, I would. I'll take the bounce tomorrow. But don't don't feel obligated. Just I mean, I know you feel sorry for me, but come on. I I already I still owe you two barbecues. All right, so my Wooga is up about 20%. My re-entries are up 32 and 38%. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the side broth. You snuck, you snuck that one in at the end. That bone bro that bone broth will keep you healthy. After you eat a bunch of ribs, you just take a little bone broth down and you're good. I could go for some barbecue about now. Naughty dog, I've been on a different bone broth lately. You still have bone broth in it? I'm on the uh, Kettle Fire. Kettle and Fire is the brand. It's not very cheap, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't I didn't mind those uh those little gelatin deals, but the Kettle and Fire is much better. So the natty gas market closes at one thirty discount. Yeah, so you don't you really don't want to try to try to trade those after hours. Power hour number one hit forty percent. A lot of 40% is booking. I'd like to see it. So you don't have any hanging out there without at least a 20% hit, right? Nope. So you got to get I'm, I'm Green out Day of, locked in? Yeah, Green Day's definitely locked in. Oh, and I just hit 40%. Percent. Let me see. Yeah. Just hit 40% on lunchtime number two. So I'm either hitting 60% or I'm getting stopped out next. Always good when you don't have any anxiety of over power hour, or I guess the last thirty minutes of the market. Yeah, once you get that 
Why don't you get that stop reduced and take some chips off the table? It's a different, uh, different feeling. Yeah, let, yeah, let us know discount. I checked those out. I checked that out before I even knew about Trade Steward, but <clears throat> never really did much with it. Don't they charge on a per they charge on a per bot or per trade? It's like a per trade basis, isn't it or something? Something kind of weird. Per trade, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, once Trade Steward comes out with the ratchet down stop, so like once you hit a profit target, it ratchets it down to whatever you specify. That'll be that'll be big for me. Trade plans channel bullish. Yep. In the trade plans channel, there's a video and a spreadsheet. And on the spreadsheet, it has every single strategy that I trade. Yeah. You got to have option Omega because that's what all the tests are based on. They're all back test driven. So um, those guys give all of us NT folks 50% off. If you just go to navigationtrading.com slash Omega. I think that takes you right to the right to the discounted page. Yeah, if you're going to be trading back test driven strategies, you got to have option omega. Yeah. Dick K, you didn't get stopped on your one DTE. What's your stop? I got smoked out of mine. <clears throat> yeah, that's mine. I got a six dollar stop. I got, I got hit. That's high enough, SPX. Yeah, Andrew K, you got to go beef. Chicken, I mean, it's okay, but beef, beef is what's for dinner. I got stopped out of lunchtime number two after booking 40% profit. Yeah, just barely. So my Wuga is up about 15% now. Needs a little down move. My re-entries are up 37 and 34%. Okay. So Dick K, you were on the O fives and the 
fifteens. Two hundred twenty-four million to the sell side. So my one DTE, I was on the, uh, I was on the forty-nine sixty puts, and the fifty fifteen calls. Are you going seven bucks? Are you targeting seven dollar premium, Dick K? <clears throat> good boy, SPX, good boy. Hmm. The difference must be of what you're doing, Dick, is your uh your long legs. You're targeting a buck, and I think I'm targeting I'm targeting 15 or 20 cents up to 80 wide. So I'm basically 80 wide. That's the difference. No, a little down move here. I just get filled on. Wow. I've stopped out of my one of my re entries for a profit. Sizable down move. Wow. And where did this come from? For five cents. Well, that blows. Down to 65. Holy moly. <laughs> I got stopped out of my power hour. I'm glad I booked 40%. Wow. Where that where this came from? Guess I'll check on my puts and see if I've got any worth anything now. That was very rude. Is that Schwab, Elliot? That is no bueno. Not excited about that Schwab transfer. Anybody else here on Schwab have issues like that? I've heard Elliot post it. 
bunch of times. So you're seeing stops getting blown through. Howdy. Hmm. Well, I guess once they get connected to trade steward, you'll have that protection using bot algo stops, but Well, I guess uh, it's better than, well, I don't know if it's better, but E-Trade just announced that they are not even allowing you to put stops on spreads. Well, the bot algos will, once it hits that, your stop price, it'll send an order to the market right right away. Now, if they don't honor that, <laughs> that's, a, that's a different story. Well, I am pretty much out of everything after that push down. Still got my Wooga. Sitting on the edge. And then my uh, my last re-entry, it pushed it right back to center, so it was good for that one. Well, way to dig yourself out of a hole, Dan B. All right, it's about 20 minutes till. Chad, do you want to take over the screen share? Yep. Get in here. I'm going to work on this uh, little end of day deal. I'll, I'll come back here before the bell. And if it sets up, I'll share what I did. If not, I'm going to wait for another example, but there we go. All righty. I'll be back. So I'm out of everything. I do have one trade still on in my second account, but my, my one that I trade and post my fills uh, in the discord there, I am out. So I don't know that I want to re-enter anything. I'm I'm green for the day, so probably would be smart to just sit tight. Give me a second here. I'm pulling out something on my second account, so. Uh, my other account, I was, I was up like 2K and this push down, stopped out a power hour for a full loss and then stopped out one that I'd hit 20% on. So it kind of pushed me back to scratch, which that was a bummer. Let's see if I can... Here we go. So I can, because I can pull this over. Ah. 
That's why I usually just keep it on my price action, but. There we go. So this is the only one, only trade I got on, and this is not one that I have posted in the Discord. This is my other account. So I need a little down action. We got a Really don't want any more up action now that this uh, had this this big push down stop me out. So, so I'm not liking what I'm seeing out of this. Now it's gonna. If it rebounds here, it's going to make me go into the red for this account. This account was up about 20 minutes ago. It was up, up a couple grand. <laughs> Goes to show you how fast things can, uh, can change. And trust me, it is real tempting. You, I could probably put on a straddle right now for power hour number two in my, other, in my account here that Take a look at it. Man, that's 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 tempting. That is real tempting. So I could do, let me see, I could do it in this one because that would 4970 straddle. Take a look at this. Hmm. Don't really like it, honestly, but it does have some wiggle room to the upside. I do kind of like that. Take that one since I'm off centered with my first one. Four ninety five. Would be my profit target. Again, this is not my account that I post the, the trades in.
What did I do wrong? Forty nine seventy straddle. There we go. Well, this wasn't the price action I was looking for in the last 20 minutes of power hour. A big drop down and then a big rebound immediately. So... Wooga hit 50%. Nice. I closed out some of my puts in that in my account that I post the trades in. Got a little bit of money from him on that move down. So I can figure out my total profit loss for today in my main account. All right, 4,395. So we'll take that. At 10 minutes to go. Theta is going to better start decaying quick.
did six trades today. There's my results. It's back over here. Where it goes. Just back over here where it goes. I've developed such a habit of price movement. I look left, trades I look right. Wouldn't mind price just to kind of stay right there. Actually, what? <clears throat> I take a pin at forty nine seventy. Where is it going to finish at? <clears throat> Out of half my straddle on that account. Nice job, Michael Todd. It's just a little bit of down movement. I got two these two two trades on in my other account here. I'm, to get out of half, I need just a little bit of down movement. <clears throat> okay. And there it is. So Getting back in the profits in this account, thank goodness. A couple late power hour trades. Doesn't need to move up, though, I can tell you that. Just got out of 60% of that straddle.
or that would be 40% of this travel, not 60. Did I say 60? 40%. Got two contracts left. Man, I might get a pin here. Nice job, Madam Butterfly. Come back down there, S&P. Don't need to push up. You've pushed up far enough. Back down. Like to see it settle in about. Now nah, it's going to push up. It's going to stop. It's going to stop me out of my. Yeah. Got stopped out of. Uh, why isn't it stopping me out? It's blown right past it. I have a 670 trailing stop on and it has it's at 750 it's blown right through it 847 unbelievable my trailing stop did not wow that is not that's unbelievable I have a 670 trailing stop. And it's at 850. Wow. Nine something now. I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know what else to do, though. I mean. It made me go from a green day to a minus 1100 in that account. Thanks to that last move. <laughs> Unreal. All right, guys. Hope everybody has a great uh, rest of your day. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. All right, my friends. Yep. Uh, not a good setup. So I'll, uh, I'll share what I was doing here at another time. Everybody have a good night. Take care.